What's going on, everybody? It's Nick with Face Mask Fantasy, and we have begun highlighting some of the incoming rookie prospects right here on this channel. We'll, of course, update our coverage on these players as the offseason develops, and especially so after they've been drafted and we know the situation they are stepping into. Up today, Alabama wide receiver Jamison Williams, an outstanding playmaker for the Crimson Tide. He did suffer a torn ACL in the national championship game against Georgia. Williams enters the draft after two seasons in college, one at Ohio State and one with the Tide. Williams transferred out of Ohio State because the starting roles were locked up by Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave. Although, Williams did flash his playmaking potential as a freshman, and then he went on to prove it in 15 games at Alabama in 2021, when Williams posted 79 catches on 118 targets for 1,572 yards and 15 touchdowns. Stellar. He commanded a 21% target share and averaged almost 20 yards per catch in his sophomore season. A very quick study showed high-end speed and his footwork looks really strong off the line of scrimmage and coming in and out of his breaks. Not to mention, he was utilized everywhere in the Alabama offense. He can be used at the line of scrimmage, he makes contested catches, tough catches over the middle of the field, and he can go deep. Williams stands at 6'2 and weighs about 190 pounds. If you were to make a current day comparison, a scouting report from Walter Football likens him to another former tied receiver, Henry Ruggs, which means teams looking to add straight line speed should be lining up to further evaluate Williams. There's a little less tape on Williams having only been a starter in college for one year, but Alabama isn't just any program. To start for the Tide and to dominate SEC competition the way Williams did is enough to the point where he's not expected to fall out of the first round, even after suffering the aforementioned torn ACL. And while an ACL tear could maybe limit mobility, cuts, lateral quickness, things of that nature, these aren't necessarily the skills Williams relied on to begin with. He beats you by being faster than you, and his potential as a route runner at the NFL level looks very promising after seeing the multitude of ways he was used in 2021. Williams makes a lot of sense as a full-time outside receiver in the NFL. The slot might not be a good place for him at least to begin his career, as part of that will be rehabbing the ACL injury. So with the rehab, there's some potentially naturally falls behind a little bit this offseason. We probably need to temper immediate expectations for him, but ACL injuries aren't the long-term concern they used to be. His stock should only climb as we get further removed from the injury with time. And it would seem major NFL draft experts and pundits agree, because again, he's still expected to be drafted in the first round. The deep threat potential Williams is bursting with is going to be too much for somebody to pass up by the time the first round of the draft gets into the late teens and early 20s. And if he ends up being paired with a big-armed quarterback, there's a lot of reason to get excited about Williams' future. For dynasty purposes, he's probably a late first-round pick in all formats, much like his expected landing spot in the NFL draft. If I'm picking anywhere in the mid-to-late first round of a rookie draft, Williams is the type of player I'll be looking to add. He's got big-time playmaker potential. We just probably need to be a little patient for the start of his NFL career while he's on the mend. But he's someone I'm very enthused about. For 2022 redraft, I might pass on him just because of the chance he doesn't contribute much in the first half of the season, but this is a tune that could of course change as the offseason develops and if there are positive reports about his return to play. For best ball however, he currently has an ADP of 196 on underdog fantasy. That's definitely a format where I'm willing to take a shot at that cost. So if you play any early competitions, if you play best ball, this is where I'm interested in adding Williams at a dirt cheap price right now. We don't have all of Williams' workout metrics yet. That information will come with the NFL Combine and or his pro day. Ultimately, for me, Williams did enough on the field, even though it was just one season, to be interested in drafting him in Dynasty. Maybe not redraft just yet, but again, that could change with positive news this offseason. And we'll continue to update our evaluations and analysis as the offseason continues, especially following the NFL Combine. But what do you guys think about Jamison Williams? Put any thoughts you have in the comment section below, and we can have a conversation about this. We also host live streams on our channel each Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern, all off season long. Come hang out, come talk dynasty or any other general fantasy topics you might be interested in. Until then, this is Nick with Face Mask Fantasy. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening.